and we're good. Uh, to can you hear me, Dennis? I mean, I don't have a microphone on. I don't have anything. Can hear you great. Okay. Um, okay. Just tell me when we want to start. Okay. Well, we're, uh, let's see what time it is. Give us a couple more minutes. We have about two minutes before the actual show time. So let's. I'm get, uh, Hey, Dennis, I'm getting an echo on you. Um, I don't know what the issue is, but. Uh, do you just have the one computer open or do you have two? What? Do you just have one computer open or two? One, one, is that the only thing? Not, not really, uh, not really hearing well. Uh, hold on. Can you hook earphones into that? Uh, I don't think so, Dennis. Uh, hold on, let me go get them. Started. And what do you have for us today? So, well, first tell us who you are and what you're doing. Okay. Hey, guys, I'm Allie, and you're here in my kitchen, Allie's Kitchen. And um, I'm going to show you today how one spice mixture can be transformed into so many different things. One of the things that I think about food is that it's the spices that really create, of course, all the flavor and, and uh, wonderful things for our taste buds. So one chapter of my cookbook is devoted entirely to making exotic spice mixtures. Now you can buy these, but they're never as good as you making them yourselves. And they're so easy. So today I'm gonna make for you harissa. And it's a spicy, uh, mixture of different spice spices and it's a North African type of spice mixture and then I'm going to show you three ways to use it let me get my cookbook okay so this is the cookbook oh thanks Dennis <laughs> and uh, on page five is the harissa recipe and it literally takes maybe seven minutes to make it. And what you've got are coriander seeds, cumin and caraway. And I have just roasted these uh, in a skillet. And oh my gosh, the aroma is so nice. And you roast them for maybe three to five minutes. And when you start smelling the aromatics, then you know they're done. Don't burn them though. So we're gonna, we're gonna grind these up. And then the second thing is a blend of other spices. So we've got hot smoked paprika, we've got sea salt, garlic powder, uh, and cayenne. So that's what makes harissa. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the seeds that are roasted into this little uh, coffee grinder. And I would suggest you, if you start making your own spice blends, Spring for a coffee grinder. They're $10 to $12 at the big box stores like Walmart. And then just devote that to your uh, spice blends. So let me put these in here and I'm going to give them a, a, a whirl and grind them up. Okay. Here we go. All right. I know you can't see these, but they're all ground up. It's a it's a really fine mixture of coriander, cumin, and caraway seeds, and the the scents are intoxicating. Oh my gosh. So now I'm gonna mix it with the other spices right here. Oh, I, you know, I just kind of feel like I'm back in Jerusalem at the uh, uh, outdoor market there. All right, so that is harissa, and that's about how long it took to make it. I mean, you, I didn't roast the seeds. I had those pre-roasted, but look at what we have here. We have, oh, a good uh, four ounces. So what I do is I, I keep my little bottles, and this one is my harissa, and we're going to just take a funnel, 
and put it in here. And then I'll keep it in the freezer to keep it nice and fresh. So. And see, you don't need, you've got all the spices in your cabinet probably already. Uh, if you have to go out and buy uh, cumin seeds or some of the seeds, then that's no problem. Okay, so right there, we have Harissa ready to go. Yeah. Now, let's see how we can use it. Okay, one of my favorite ways to use it is to make a dipping oil. And if you want a really quick, really exotic and, and beautiful tray in the evening, you come home from work and, and you want to pour a glass of wine and you want something really quick, then let's do this. I have this wooden platter and on it I have little cherry tomatoes that you just, you just pull off the stem and you just pop them in because they're really just like candy. Uh, I've got a little bowl of olives that I just put some um, olive oil on and a little bit of dried mint. And now I'm going to make uh, some of the harissa oil. So I've got about a fourth of a cup of olive oil. I'm going to take some of that harissa that I just made, put it in there. Just give it a stir. Oh, it's beautiful. It's absolutely gorgeous. And if I can, I wish I could just bring it closer to the camera. It's a nice, rich uh, rust color. And it just smells uh, gorgeous. Mm. So, I, and, and I can't turn it because it'll spill out. And then what you do, you've got your olives, you've got your dipping oil, you've got your tomatoes, just some crusty bread. And I like to just tear it off and then just dip it in there. And then you've got something really, really great. Mm. Wow. An olive, a tomato, and you're set. So that's one way. Mm, it's got a nice kick to it too. It's delicious. Now, with, with these spice mixtures, um, I've got a recipe for Ethiopian, Ethiopian Burberry, which I keep, I make them. And then I've got another one for Roz El Hunat. So, Chapter one of this cookbook is worth the price of the cookbook because you get the most amazing, easy recipes to make your own spice blends. Now we're going to take this Harissa. Well, before we do that, what kind of questions? Do we have any questions, Dennis? We, we don't have any questions yet, Allie, but uh, my question is how much should you make at one time when you're making up these mixtures? I usually make... Uh, what the recipe directions and you see i get about four ounces sometimes i double or triple it and then i just keep it in the freezer or well, you know you can put it in ziploc bags in freezer bags and then you got it while you're making it you may as well make a bunch of it and the holidays are coming up there is nothing more that people want than to have homemade gifts so if you would make Harissa, Ross El Hunat, Burberry, some of these spice mixtures and give to your friends. It's 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 from your heart. It's the love that you give. And then you're introducing them to flavors from around the world. And that's what it's all about. It's, you know, we all share the same food DNA. Okay, so are we ready to go into the next thing, Dennis? Yes, we are. Let's go into it. Okay, so what I did earlier today was I took a sweet potato, I peeled it, and I diced it. And then I just microwaved it for about two and a half minutes just to soften it. So I've got, it's, it's, it's going to be kind of like sweet potato harissa hash. So these are just little cubes of sweet potatoes. Hmm, they're so lovely. And then I've got a tablespoon of butter in here. 
and about a tablespoon of brown sugar because I want a caramelly taste. Now I'm going to take the harissa. Go take about a tablespoon of it. And I'm going to sprinkle it on. Now I'm going to just turn on the stove and I'm going to give it a quick fry here. So now while, while that's heating up, the second thing I'm going to do is this harissa is amazing on chicken tenders. Sometimes I skewer them, put them on the grill. Sometimes I just put them in the skillet. Sometimes I roll them in the harissa, uh, put them on a cookie sheet lined with parchment paper and just roast them in a 400 degree oven for maybe 15 or 20 minutes. But today we're going to just throw them in the skillet and I'm going to show you how wonderful they are. Okay. Sounds good. So I'm going to get this other trusty skillet. As you see, this skillet has seen a lot of cooking. This can, you know, I believe um, kitchens tell stories. And my dad was one of 13 children. And so the last living in-law passed away about a year ago. And uh, this was my Aunt Ruth's. And so uh, I can remember as a little girl seeing this skillet in the kitchen and all the eggs that were fried in it and potatoes and the cornbread that was made in it. And I got it. She willed it to me. So this is my Aunt Ruth skillet and I'm going to heat it up. And we've got the potatoes starting to sizzle. So uh, these are these are just going to cook up for maybe five minutes and then they're ready. So let them keep going. And I've got the skillet heating for the, uh, the tenders. So right here, I just have uh, some tenders. I took thin chicken breasts and just sliced them. And I'm gonna give them a little bit, maybe a teaspoon of olive oil. And then we're gonna coat them in harissa, maybe a tablespoon of it. Again, your trusty harissa. And where I wish somebody, I wish some of you all were right, sitting right here around my bar, smelling this and able to taste it. We would have our own version of a show like The Chew going on. Right, Dennis? Absolutely. That would be a lot of fun. That'd be awesome, wouldn't it? Yes, it would. Okay, a little bit of olive oil in this skillet. And I'll let that heat up and we'll be ready to go here. And it all starts from one spice blend. And another great way to use this spice blend is to take a couple of cans of garbanzo beans, drain them, uh, toss them in about a teaspoon of olive oil and then coat them with harissa and fry them maybe five to seven minutes and then chop up some iceberg lettuce and uh, arugula, uh, a few tomatoes and a little bit of olive oil and lemon juice, make you a salad and then put those garbanzo beans on top. You are talking about amazing eating and healthy too and quick. Okay. These are just about ready. We get a bowl. We're going to plate them, and um, I love to use mint as a gar uh, as a garnish. Lots of times people use uh, parsley all the time or cilantro, but I love dried mint or fresh mint. So. Uh, it just reminds me of the Middle East. All righty. We got two blazes going here. Let me put this chicken in.
Maybe you can hear that sizzle. I can hear it. Okay. Now we have the um, sweet potato hash, Harissa sweet potato hash. We're going to deglaze it with just a tad of water because there's too much good stuff in here to get rid of it. Okay. See? Woo! These won't take long at all. Now we'll put a little bit of that juice on them. A few little dried mint leaves. And there you go. Wow. You've got Harissa sweet potato hash. That is beyond amazing. Let me get a fork and we'll taste it. And these are coming up really nicely. All righty. Are you ready? Yes, I am. Are you ready? I'm ready. Oh, look at that steam coming off of them. Oh. You get the spiciness of the cayenne and the warmth of the cumin. Do you know that cumin is the second most popular spice in the world? And then... You get the sweetness of that little bit of brown sugar and then the creaminess of the butter. You know what would make this even better? A soft boiled egg on top. Mm. And it would just be so gorgeous. You sit this down in front of your girlfriend or your boyfriend or your wife or your husband or your guests and you're just going to be a goddess. <laughs> It's amazing, truly. It's amazing. Ah, oh, it, it looks. The really... hardest part about this recipe is dicing the sweet potatoes. Okay. Any questions? How long did you cook the sweet potato first before you diced it? How long do I have to cook the sweet potatoes? Uh, I microwave them for about two and a half minutes just to soften them, and then. You saw, you know, maybe five minutes in the skillet, and then they're done. Okay. There's Mike no smell that cooks really fast, Dennis. Okay. Okay. And these tenders are just about finished. So we've got the sweet potato hash that we did with the harissa. We have an hors d'oeuvre tray that we did with the harissa, uh, with our olives and our tomatoes and then our French bread. And all we need is a glass of wine. And this could really be dinner. And now we're going to have our um, chicken tenders. So you can really take the potatoes and put the tenders on top of them. And let's plate them that way. That, that might be fun. Let's try that again. <clears throat> so, I think I'll use this plate. And we'll put a few there. I think one of the fun things about cooking is to eat pretty. Oh, yeah. Pretty eating is important to me. Of course, I love beautiful things. And, uh, you know, food is so beautiful. It's a work of art. So I'm going to plate it on uh, this uh, metal plate. Uh, you know, I find my things at yard sales, at consignment stores, uh, at estate sales, and I, you know, I like them old and patinaed. Once I posted something in a uh, a really pretty silver um, teapot, and I got a comment from a person that said, "You need to polish your silver," and I said, "No, the beauty of it is the patina." So uh, anyway. 
that's, let's look at what this is going to look like. Okay, these are ready. I mean, it's amazing. So, let me get a fork. A little bit of fresh mint. Wow. And there you go. Looks great. Harissa grilled chicken tenders with sweet potato hash. And to make it even more vibrant, take a lemon, cut it in half, and just give it a little squeeze of lemon juice. But here, let me pull this one off. Right there. You hear the crackle and the sizzle? Now all you need is the smell and taste, and you have to rely upon me for that. <laughs> but I wouldn't lie to you. So uh, just, we're going to take a lemon right here. We're going to give it a little slice. And then we're just going to take just a tad of lemon juice. And that just wakes up. It just wakes it up. I wish somebody could eat this. <laughs> there you go. I think everybody wishes they could eat it. If anyone wants to come in and ask their questions, go ahead and uh, open up with the seats are open. Come on in and talk to Allie. Uh, you know what, Dennis? I think what I might do is go back to my other computer where my good sound is. Leave the kitchen now, okay? And uh, if you were here, you'd help me clean it up because <laughs> it's a mess. Okay. But let me go back to the other computer and uh, then the volume will be great and we can chit chat, okay? Good. Hang on guys. So we're gonna sign Allie out on this one and she's gonna come back in on the other one and then we can talk to her more about her kitchen and what she's doing. And right now we've just got audio. Uh, we need your camera, Allie. And there she's back. Plug in this computer, uh, this uh, camera again too. No problem. Okay, good to see you. Good to see everybody. I'm out of the kitchen. <laughs> and I, I, hey, let me go get those dishes I did so you okay. can see them even close up now. Sounds good. Yes, I, I do have uh, shows scheduled. Uh, I do a regular show of my own every Tuesday at twelve o'clock Eastern time, and every Wednesday at twelve o'clock Eastern time. I have a co-host, uh, Susan Sarah, on every Wednesday with me. Yesterday, I did a stuffed pork chop. Tuesday, I did a Espanol sauce. And next Tuesday, I'm doing hollandaise. And Wednesday, I am making uh, my favorite cocoa brownies. So, so Allie is back. I'm back. I'm back. Okay, so, guys, here's, here's what we started with. Okay? So, I made this harissa. And it's just... It's just a beautiful blend. Let me put some in my hand. Okay, let's go up here. Oh, mm, it smells so good. It's even got a nutty smell to it. And then a couple of things that we, a few things that we did with it. We uh, made a dipping oil. And all I did was just put some olive oil. And then I made a, an hors d'oeuvre tray right here so we've got olives the dipping oil some bread and tomatoes mm. and this is so quick when you get home from work i mean within five minutes guys you could feel like you're at the casbah yeah dining, just having a, a few little snacks with your wine what kind and of then, would you serve with that what kind and of then we made some sweet potato hashed with 
the harissa spice, a little bit of butter, sweet potatoes that have been diced and microwaved about two minutes just to soften them. They're so small, they cook fast. Uh, about a tablespoon of brown sugar just for a caramelization. And then this is what we had. Mm. Mm -hmm. And then we did the chicken tenders and we uh, just sauteed them and uh, we roll, uh, coated them in some harissa and then sauteed them and then a little uh, squirt of lemon juice. Now I'm going to taste them. Mm. Y'all, they are so tender. They are so good. Mm. Wonderful. And I lick my fingers. Mm. Oh, the the little bit of heat that comes on the back of your palate and the roof of your mouth. It's a fun heat. It's like, yeah, bring it on, baby. I want more. <laughs> so this um uh, this is one of the spice mixtures in my cookbook. Dennis has that. Mm -hmm. And uh so he he knows what's in there and it it's it's chapter one and i'm telling you these are easy they're wonderful that you can double triple them put them in the freezer and they make wonderful gifts that's what we did today what dennis is holding up the harissa uh and um it just livens up your food where i think so many of us are um you know, kind of getting tired of, uh, you know, our traditional types of spices and blends, you know, whether it's, uh, you know, Jamaican jerk or Cajun seasoning, not that there's anything wrong with those. They're wonderful. Italian blends, you know, French blends. But these that um, I bring to you are so different. There's one called Dukkah. Have you looked at the Dukkah, Dennis? Oh, with yeah. The peanuts. Oh my gosh. I could roll banana. I have rolled bananas in that. It's it's amazing. It's made with it's an African spice mixture and it uses a lot of uh salted peanuts. And it's great just taking bananas slices and rolling it uh you know them in that and just eating those. So it, it really extends your food beyond what you thought was possible. I love this cookbook, and I, I tell everybody that if they buy one cookbook this year, they need to buy your cookbook because it is just spectacular. Uh, the flavors, it, it'll change how you eat at home. And really, that's that's the most important thing about food is, you know, we all get into ruts. We all We all have our favorites, and we're not trying to ever replace your favorites. But, you know, just for a different meal, and you may never eat it more than once every once a year, but That's right. Mm -hmm. You're going to taste it and you're going to go, wow. Mm -hmm. You know, you might want to eat it more after that, but, or you may have friends coming over and you might want to really impress them because it, it really awakens your senses. It really adds the, the, the aroma, the flavors. We eat with our senses and it really starts to excite all your senses. It, it, it does. And um, I think that's the wonderful thing about, uh, you know, the cookbook and the, the spice mixtures is that a lot of people haven't had the uh, ability to travel the world and, and to do these things and to, to pick up these ideas. And, and that's, this is the culmination of 35, 40 years of travel for me and just cataloging in my brain, you know, from the first time I went abroad when I was 18 to now, uh, you know, the, the world of food. And I can remember the first amazing dinner I ever had. I mean, I grew up in the hollers of West Virginia. And, uh, you know, I was a coal miner's daughter and we had good food. We had pinto beans and cornbread and ham hocks and, and it was wonderful. But I can remember my first really fancy dinner and it was on the Adriatic in Greece. And I had met this older man. He was about 40. Of course, I was 18. I was a baby. <laughs> and um, we had dinner on the Adriatic. And I was just like, uh, it was like the Princess Diaries. I started tasting this food and I went, 
where has this been all my life? I've never tasted this stuff. So uh, that just kind of ignited my passion for the exploration of food and just trying as much as I could. And, you know, it's nice to, to share it with you and, and to um, uh, let you have these adventurous palates and not even have to leave your own kitchen. Absolutely. And, you know, like I said, this cookbook will keep you busy. If you cook your way through this cookbook, you'll have different flavors in your house for a long time. How many recipes in total do you have in there? Uh, there are 140 recipes. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. 140 recipes. And I worked on it for 13 months. And the chapters are divided by regions of the world. Middle Eastern, uh, Mediterranean, Asian, Caribbean, European. So, and, you know, so it's not... Uh, like you'll go find desserts or appetizers. They're all just kind of throughout, woven throughout. And I did all the photography too. Well, 99% of it. Uh, and so uh, it was a, it was a labor of love. Which you can't really see right here, but all they're color coded. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that a cool I thing? I love that. that each yeah. All the regions are color coded. Yeah. Yeah. And actually, some of the passport stamps that you see in there came from my old passports. I pulled out, you know, I, I, I've had, I think I'm on my fourth passport. What are they good for? 10 years, 12 years. Oh, I'm telling my age. Oh. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I think they uh, took the images of some of the passport stamps and, and put them on there. So that's kind of cool. And then each one has a story because, uh, most all of the recipes were inspired for, from something, uh, you know, like uh, I can remember, there's a recipe for paella in there. And that was, you know, I had gone to the 1992 uh, Olympics in Barcelona. And um, uh, that's when the dream team, the American, you remember that, Dennis? The American that. dream team, yeah, yeah, uh, won the gold. And so uh, that was the first time I had paella too. So that was fun. Excellent. Excellent. Well, you know, you've, you've come away with a lot of stories and a lot of great food to share. And I know people are excited about your cookbook and I'm excited. I'm going to get to meet you in the flesh next month. In That's right. In, in just about, uh, what, two and a half, three weeks. Yeah. Well, I think it's the, yeah, the first week in November. Somewhere yeah, around it there. is. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And we're going to go. Oh. Absolutely. We're going to have to do some serious breaking of bread together and have some fun. I know. I know. We will. It, it, it's going to be a blast. I can't wait to come down there. And uh, We're talking about the World Food Championships, and they're in Kissimmee, Florida this year. They've been in Las Vegas for the past three years. And uh, whether you're a competitor or not, it is just, uh, it's so wonderful to come out and watch uh, all these home cooks, and then there are professional chefs, and then there are teams just pour their heart and soul into their competition. And then some lucky people win big bucks. And I get so excited for them because they've worked so hard. It's wonderful. Yeah, it's, it's a really a great thing. And uh, yeah. I'm excited to see uh, my friend Emily Allen who's around town and be there and other people. Right. So it's going to be, you know, plus all the new friends I'm going to make. I know. I know. Yeah. It's a, it's, it's a tribe. It's a family and uh, uh, nobody, you know, tells you to put your cell phone away. Stop taking pictures. <laughs> nobody looks at you like you're so weird. You mean you're taking pictures again? Yeah. So. <laughs> hey, uh, Biggie, I don't know if you're able to come in. My friend Biggie from Deli Fresh Threads is here. Uh, hey, Biggie. Hey. I see yeah. Deli Fresh. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see if Biggie gets he, in. He has sandwich eat ups that I love to go to because he knows where the best sandwiches in town are. There he is. What's hey going there, on? Biggie. Oh, I like it. Fluff another brother. Yeah, it's oh. National, National Fluff Another Day. <laughs> I love it. How are you guys hey, doing today? I'm great. How are you? I'm doing good. Doing good. I'm glad I finally got to catch one of these blabs with uh, Chef Dennis on it. I know we oh, need to well, on here, brother. This, this is a place sandwich. to be at 2 o'clock Eastern time on Thursday. 
Yeah, I'm usually working, but today I got lucky. So I'm, I'm definitely happy I got to be part of it. Cool. Great, great. Hey, hey, Biggie, you might want to try, uh, if you're really into uh, sandwiches, why don't you try some chicken tenders with the harissa and, and see how some of your customers like it. That'd be a great sandwich. Chop up some iceberg lettuce on it and, and some uh, kosher dills and ooh, no, good. Well, Biggie doesn't have a restaurant. He makes yeah. clothes. Yeah, I don't make sandwiches. I actually make, make oh. My shirts are all inspired by sandwiches. That's kind of. Oh, funny. okay. But yeah, so I don't make them. I eat Chef Dennis's food and other great restaurants food. That's the reason why I do a monthly sandwich eat up so that I can kind of promote other small businesses um, like mine. Oh, okay. And now I get the Deli Fresh threads. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. yeah. Cool. But, but I'm sure he'd love to partake in one of those Harissa chicken sandwiches. Oh, I definitely would. I definitely would. Mm -hmm. It would um, be. Yeah. Yeah. So were you guys talking about a competition? Are you guys talking about what's coming up, coming in the, well, there's a few things happening in Orlando now. So mm -hmm. which one are you taking part of coach chef Dennis? Well, I'm not taking part in it, but Allie is she's in the world food championships in Kissimmee. Next I'm month. actually going to be a judge on the sandwich. I'm going to be one of the judges in the world. Are you really? Well, I'm actually not competing this year. I competed the first year and the second year. This year, I'm doing a demo from my cookbook. Uh, and then uh, I'm just going to be there to support all my foodie peeps. I mean, awesome. they're, they're just the greatest people in the world. And uh, I want to be on the sidelines taking pictures and blasting it to social media and just be there to support them and watch them uh, get their accolades and, yeah. and, and do, uh, you know, just recognition. Well, I, th I think we need to broadcast your demo live. Oh, be that would be fun. Dennis, it's going to be at, there's a little old theater there somewhere in, in celebration at a, a retro theater. It kind of yes. looks like something from back to the future. Mm -hmm. you, know, yep. you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, it's no, a restaurant. It would be fun. Can we do it? Absolutely. All right. That's great. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. You just have to be up there with me. No, I'll be on the side. Oh. <laughs> I'll set my camera up. Okay. That's a deal. Okay. Okay. Are you, Chef Dennis, are you guys going, are you also, Ali, do you live in the, do you live in the area? No, I, I'm I'm in South Carolina and Colorado. So uh, uh, yeah, I'll be I'll be heading down there. You I'm doing, sorry. You doing all right with the rain and everything over there in South Carolina? You know, we did, we did. We uh, uh, we live on the water, and uh, another six inches, and it would have come over the sea walls and into the uh, ground level of the house because we're right on the water, maybe ten feet from it. So we dodged a bullet. That's good. But, uh, yeah, Columbia, a, a disaster. Yeah, I can imagine. Chef Dennis, are you doing Foodie Expo? Are you going to the Foodie Expo coming I up? I actually just uh, asked for tickets uh, okay. as a, as not as a sponsor, but as someone coming to like show it. So I, yeah. I don't really know the guy that's organized it, but I did get tickets for it, and I thought I would try and set up and do some kind of broadcast from there. I just need to that's talk awesome. talk to somebody that's actually doing something. Otherwise, I'll, I'll just I'll be there. Actually, this is my first time. I'm going to be vend I'm going to be a vendor there this year. So okay. uh, I'm kind of excited uh, to be cool. able to just kind of introduce folks to my brand. So, Great. Maybe if nothing else, I can do a show from your from your area or come on, come on over. Yeah, for sure. Well, I love seeing all the people here and I would love to see some more people come in and, and chat with us. I mean, I think we got have we had 52 here, Dennis? That's what I'm seeing up here. Yes. Or, yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Thank you all. I know you're busy. I know you have lots of selections on Facebook and G plus and all over the internet. And, and for you to take your time and to come here with Dennis and me, it's, it's, I'm, I'm very grateful. Thank you. I, I love this format. I mean, it's brand new. So we really don't have a really big, group of people here yet but the people that are here are amazing they're kind yeah. they're engaging they're just wonderful people so we're building a real good core of people on this social media so when it does explode we're going to still keep those people close to us yeah so, you know yeah. right away so we're happy to have, have so many friends mm -hmm. yes right. very important 
How long have you guys been blabbing? Uh, I've been on for, I think it said 60 days. So two months. It's great. Uh, Allie's, Allie's a, a, a baby at this. She just started. I'm a baby. My first day was yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm a newbie. And she did I'm good so, though. I'm not even crawling yet. Well, hey, Jenny's in the house. Jenny Field. Jenny, join in if you're a Jenny! If you're camera ready, just ask for the seat and come in and say hi. Jenny's my buddy from Google Plus way back. Uh, we met there and did some things together, and now we're just friends. Jenny did, is such a nice online fan. pastry chef. You got a pastry issue or a problem or need uh, advice? Jenny is the go-to person. If you she knows it all. Some of her stuff, she is incredible. Yes. She is. Yeah. Is it for Jenny. real okay for me to be in here? I just stopped in to say hi. I'm glad oh, you did. I'm so glad. Hey, Jenny, we feel like we're on Hollywood Squares. Remember that TV show? <laughs> right. I got to turn up my sound. My computer's all messed up today, you guys. I just wanted to say hi. I came on Google Plus and I saw that you were on, Dennis, with Allie. And so I was like, oh, I must come say hello. Oh, so this, we're Sunday. actually going to, we're going to, Jenny and I are going to do one together uh, in, in about five weeks, I guess it is. When is it? November? Yeah, November 7th. Yes. Yeah. What are you guys doing, Jenny? Well, I don't, I don't want to talk about my thing on your thing, you guys. Well, that's okay. That's, that's what this is all about. It's, it's, it's sharing the love. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Well, we're, we'll be um, highlighting Nancy McDermott's new cookbook. Denise oh, Osvaldo and I are going to be cooking one of the recipes, and it'll be a cook-along, so anybody who wants to can come and make the recipe with us. It should be fun. Oh, wow. And That'd Dennis is going to be our technical guru guy he's the first person i thought of we're like oh god now we've decided to do this who do we ask for help i better talk to dennis oh i'm happy to do it I, i'm trying to bring as many of my foodie friends over here as we can and uh, blab is embracing we, we did break blab one day so it is still in beta so everyone has to remember that that when there are some issues this baby's still in beta and uh, before they introduce it to the masses it'll be running a little you know really smooth well, I think it does pretty well now. I'm, I'm, you know, impressed with the quality and things like that. So looks good to me. And just the fact that they send you an MP4, MP4 files and it has an automatic upload to YouTube now. And they also send you out a stripped out MP3 file. So if you're a podcaster or wanted to be a podcaster, they're mm -hmm. doing all the work for you. And they also okay. just joined in. They bought PodClear which is supposed to be a very good podcasting company. So they're really going heavy duty towards in that direction. So their audio is stellar. Their picture is not quite as good as, as G Plus's was, and that's because it gets compressed a little bit. It's not that wide picture we used to have. So the compression, there is some loss in that compression, but it's still doing pretty good. Yeah, yeah, really good. Yeah. Well, this is fun. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, or anything. I better run, you guys. I just wanted to come in and say hi. So well, hi. Good. And Mr. Right. Fluffanutta, hello Hi. to you. <laughs> yeah. I'll look. I'll look for your uh, blab uh, show. I'm, I, I'm yeah, I do, and I, I have yeah. a Facebook event for it right now. I need to put it on Google Plus. Dennis is going to hook us up with a link once it's okay. within the four week period before the cool. thing, the event, uh -huh. and then I'll put something up on Google Plus too. Awesome. Good but, you, anyway, Jenny. happy spice mixes, Allie, you boho genius, you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Bye, sweetie. Love you. you. See you guys. Love Thanks, you guys. Dennis. Bye. Oh, bye okay, who else wants to come in? Anybody we got a square else? open. Don't be, don't be shy. Come in. Allie, I buy a Val. I want to buy a Val, Allie. No, I want to buy a Val. Okay. That's what okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway so uh you know we've been having fun here and Allie, I, I think you're a natural for this so you need to start doing some of these just to have fun with your food oh thank you dennis it's uh well you know if you got people like you and all these other folks here i mean you know you you guys you make somebody feel really good i mean i'm liking all these little hands and all these little bubbles that are clapping I and know. You know, you're saying, and it's just, it's like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I know it does make you feel good. It does. It does. It's, uh, it's, it's very reassuring. 
Absolutely. And, uh, you know, this is raw and real and we're just real people. And, uh, you know, we share the passion for food and, uh, you know, what else is there in life? But, you know, something like this, finding your own kind, you mm -hmm. know, finding your tribe, finding your, tribe. your vibes determined by your tribe. People just as crazy as you are. I love That's it. That's right. That's and right. Allie's book once again. Allie's yes, and it's on Amazon and Barnes and Noble. Uh, so swing by. I need sales. Uh, and as I said, chapter one is worth the price of the book. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, uh, you know, there's a lot out there, but this one's quite different just in its organization and the fact that you've got all of these spice mixtures and then throughout the book, I, I, you know, I give you ideas for using them. And then there are what I call bohoing. Uh, it's called food branching because to me, food is more than just the meal. It's the whole experience of, of dining. And you know, that dining can be at a coffee table, a picnic table or on a, uh, a bench waiting for a, uh, a bus. And uh, uh, you know, I give you ideas to extend the food beyond just, filling your belly. Yeah. So, and, uh, fun. Big, big Cuban just asked what kind of food it is. And, and it's a uh, flavorful collection of world recipes. There that, you go. That shows yeah. you how to make the seasonings because a lot of dishes are specific. The seasonings are specific to the region and uh -huh. you can make them out of a lot of the spices you have in your home already. It's knowing how to combine those spices to get those flavors. Right. Right. And it's just so easy to do. Uh, the harissa that I, I mean the uh, uh yeah the harissa that i made today this probably would cost uh 10 or 12 dollars maybe more at williams and sonoma yeah. I, i'm not even sure a regular grocery store would carry it uh but it you know it probably cost me two dollars to make if that if yeah. that and it's and fresh. I, yeah i made like four ounces in five minutes. So, um, and it's always fresher and uh, actually tastier. And then you can tweak and add, if you want more cumin in it, add more. If you, if you want a little spicier, if you want to throw in some red chili flakes, have at it. That's the, that's the part about eating and cooking that I love. It's up to you. It's your palate. It's your likes. It's what turns you on. And if it breaks a rule of the culinary gods, then so be it. Oh, well. Yeah, that's right. Oh, well. Oh, oh, it's sorry. all about what you like to eat. That's what I always that's tell right. you. That's exactly right. Well, guys, I have to run. It's been an hour. We had a few technical difficulties, but it was a great show. Allie, we're going to have to do it again. And oh, we will. We will. And thank you, everybody, for coming. And I just wish you had been here sitting around the kitchen counter and I could have fed you all. Uh, and I uh, hope to see you real soon. Dennis, thank you. You're thank welcome. you very much. And Biggie, I'll see you soon and we'll do something together. Oh, Easy. yeah. You bet. We will. Okay. You got the best of luck with your cookbook. Okay. Thanks, darling. Uh, Good hey. luck. I'll, I'll see you at, at World Food. Yeah, please do. Definitely. Yeah, yeah, you can be a vendor there. Yeah, I'll see you. All right. Sounds good. I'll talk to you guys okay. later. Talk right. later. Bye. 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 See you later, Allie.